everyone. Welcome back. I'm Ms. Nene and welcome to Ms. Nene's Art. Today I am going to do a Dutch pour. This particular Dutch pour was um, inspired by Molly from Molly Artistry. If you do acrylic pour, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Her work is so awesome and inspiring. So I don't know if I can recreate it. I don't know how close I can get to doing it. I don't even know how it's going to turn out. But I hope it turns out nice. Um, that's all I could hope for. I'm going to be doing, we're using four colors. Um, I'm going to be using... I'm going to be using two of the Deco Art Enchanted Paints. The blue today and the violet. And I'm going to be using Arteza's Pearl White and Arteza Silver. Um, and of course, I'm going to have a black background. This is a 20 by 20 inch canvas. So I'm going to prep the board. And I'll be back. Now, if you remember, these enchanted paints, they, they look like that. They're almost like a creamy white color until it hits the black base of, of the um, board. And this one was the enchanted blue that I just poured. And now I'm going to pour the Arteza gold, not gold, silver. on top and then the enchanted violet this color here I'm gonna try to do it exactly the way Molly did it. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't know if I can or not. But there's nothing wrong with trying. I know she always says, you know, practice, just have fun with it. And that's what I'm that's what I'm gonna do. Have fun with it. So and put a little bit here. A little bit in there and here. here. Some of the silver. I'm not using too much paint. I tend to do that sometimes because I don't know when to stop. <laughs> and some of the enchanted paints. I wonder 
if I should add a little bit of black to that. Just a tiny little bit, maybe. Wait a minute, do I even have any black? I think I might be out. So use my little blower for detail. I'll leave a description or a link in the description for this. All right, here goes. Wow. <laughs> I think it looks, I think it looks really cute. Oh my God. Hold on, I'm trying to unravel this. little mini blower of mine. I'm not even sure how it got tangled. It's weird how things get tangled when you wrap it up nice and neat, you go back to it and it's tangled. Like, how does that even happen? Okay. All right, so let me God, that looks really pretty. I see some little busybody lumps in there. I'm trying to ruin my picture. <laughs> Not today. I'm feeling really good about this one. Okay, now let's see.
Now, I feel like it needs a little something right here. I have to say that I love this. See, this is why I watch awesome artists like Molly. And um, there's so many. <laughs> and because it inspires me to try different techniques and different styles instead of being stuck in the same rut. You know, this one here, I love the colors that I choose, that I chose <laughs> for this painting and this, the composition. Wow, this is beautiful. So, I'm gonna stop right here. There's no tweaking needed. I'm going to bring you in for a close up and then I'm gonna show you the dry results. Guys, let me know what you think about this painting. Please leave me your thoughts about it in the um, comments below. And I will leave the link to this little thing also in the description for you. I love that thing. It's perfect for the little details. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So that you can see me do more experiments and hopefully they all turn out like this one thanks again guys i will see you at the end with the um i was not the end but next i'll show you next i'm so excited about this painting i can't even talk i will be showing you the close-up now and then i will be showing you the dry results after Okay, here we are, the close-up. Look at that, look at those little cells. How the white just broke up into, it, looks, it reminds me of like leopard spots. <laughs> the gold, the silver, I keep saying gold, because I'm always using gold in something, but the silver looks really, really pretty with um, this color scheme that I picked, the enchanted blue, the enchanted violet, always looking good on a black background and the white the pearl white this is all metallic so it's going to be so pretty once it dries but i really love it i'm so glad that um molly from molly industries is here to help create to help create creativity to help inspire people like me so guys i'm going to go ahead and show you the dry results this one here, I, I cannot wait for it to dry. All right, guys, let me go ahead and get you ready for the dry results. Okay, guys, here it is. Look at how pretty that is. It dried beautifully. That um, enchanted blue, the enchanted violet, my favorite paints. I love those paints. And then the, um, the silver and the, um, the white by Arteza, everything. The webbing on this painting, 
I just love it. I love it. That webbing is so pretty. And look at that right there. Oh, I love, that's my favorite part. That's one of my favorite parts. I love that part. I love this. I love this whole painting. It's definitely one of my favorite ones. I love it that it was able to turn out as well as it did. You guys, you know what? I really appreciate um, any feedback you may have concerning this painting, how it turned out, your thoughts on it. Um, I'm definitely going to do this again with some different colors. Maybe try it with um, just gold and some um, copper and some bronze colors. Um, yeah, my finger got in the way. Sorry about that. I'm definitely going to definitely do it again. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for um, your time. You know I appreciate you. I really do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing something else and experimenting on different things. So, thanks again. Stay blessed. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye-bye.